Hey guys, what's up? This is Paul Del Vecchio, and I want to talk to you about a film I recently DP'd, feature film called Two Days. So let's jump right in. This frame is a scene that was taking place in a bedroom, and uh, so let's jump right in and uh, let me show you some of these other screenshots actually so you can get a, a better idea. This is actually a better screenshot because you can see the sunlight coming in through the windows and that is not really as obvious in this one because the UI is covering it. But um, that's what that looked like if you tilt down a little bit. So let's um, look at the lighting diagram. So first off, let me full screen this. Uh, this edge light on her was provided by these practicals here and this practical obviously is providing this edge light on this side and you can see here again that there's a little bit of that sun kind of creeping in there and this sheen on the wood here is actually a sky panel 60 pointed at the wall or the ceiling and it's bouncing back providing a, a front kind of fill because with the M18s are spotted in here and they're you know basically sunlight so you kind of need to bring up the ambience because um, the ambient in the room wasn't high enough so to get this level that you're seeing here. So let's look at the, the lighting diagram. Uh, let me explain this. The camera here was pointed right at the bed where, act, uh, where the actor is and the sky panel 60 is bouncing off the ceiling on the wall here um, and it's like I said it's bringing up that ambient in the room. There were also some practical lamps this one was turned off because it's sort of a magenta color, not really my pick, but that was requested, so it was in there. Um, but we actually turned it off for the shot because I didn't want any um, magenta creeping in. Um, and there was a practical here that was turned on, and that was just a regular um, tungsten. Uh, so what this is here is a basically a seating area with windows. So it's a very small kind of... Um, seating area that had some pillows and and whatnot and um, and the windows are all along this wall right in front of the bed and so we, what we did was we put M18s blasting through the windows so we put them on the roof blasting through the windows and um, we cut the top of them with the blinds on the windows so that you can get that that cut that only and you can see here that that light only affects that bottom part so that's that sun streak the sun beams that you're seeing here or uh, that sunlight that's a little bit more overexposed than uh, or a little hotter than uh, the, the the ambient room tone is from the M18s. So let me put this side by side so you could just kind of take a look at this and um, let's start with this one. Put this side by side. So again um, the sky panel 60 is basically providing the ambient in the room and the M18s are providing the sun and let me bring up some of these set photos for you guys so you can see here that this is a short distance now it's kind of it's kind of hard to tell because of the depth of field in the in the in the shot but um, that gives you basically an idea of what we're dealing with and here's a shot from the head of the bed so basically where these people are standing here um, here's a shot from that angle uh, and you can see here the practicals up top these Christmas lights and then this on the side that's that magenta light I was talking about that I didn't really like so we turned it off and then that's the the tungsten practical that was uh, there on the on the desk there uh, the sky panel was right here but it's not set up yet or this probably actually this was a different um, a different shot so we actually didn't have the sky panel there but that's where it was for for this shot that we were just looking at um, M18s well you can kind of see here the uh, where is it right here you can kind of see here the start of that window in that seating area so just outside of that window was the roof and we were able to um, put M18s out there and blast them in and then just pull the blinds down and cut basically uh, uh, use it at, at the blinds as a topper to cut the light so it only hits the bottom portion of the bed. Let's close these out and I'm gonna give you a couple more uh, photos here so you can kinda see the room and uh, this one is probably a better one. Well, actually that's what we were just looking at. Um, there's another one here. Where the fuck are you? 
Come on. Where are you at? All right. Well, um, here we go. This was actually the first picture I took on set. So we had a 21 on there because you could see the short distance between the camera and the bed. And this is the bed post here, so you can kind of, you know, see how basically how, how small a distance it was. So we really needed that. We took advantage of that 21 uh, in order to get, you know, those shots. So um, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, paul at pauldv.net. Once again, this is Paul Dovecchio. I am the cinematographer on this film, Two Days. And I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more breakdowns coming very soon. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Paul Dovecchio, I'm out.